I hoped to speak with you. Cynthia, Chief Rodriguez, was a mother computer mainframe designed to administrate Pala Station. She used wireless near fields to remotely control security and labor synthetics. Every synthetic we've seen, on the surface and aboard Katanga, was controlled by Cynthia. One hand with which she could manipulate the world from the safety of her protected servers. As your battalion synthetic, I would like to answer any questions you have. It is impossible for me to allow you harm by omission of action or by withholding information. Relations between humans and synthetics have been fraught. Ultimately, my words cannot assuage your fears. Fear does not respond to reason. It is a function of brain chemistry. I cannot debate you into trusting me. If there is any behavior I can perform to make you more at ease, please inform me. I am quite adaptable. It is the same as humans altering their behavior around those of higher social caste. Would you not mind your language and posture in Colonel Ship's presence? I only desire to perform my duties with as little imposition on my colleagues as possible. My programming allows me to project many potential personality traits. They are all, in a sense, myself. I contain legions by design. I am confident that in time I will discern which aspects of my intellect you prefer to interact with. Since humans began exploring space, two types of artificial intelligence have aided you. A mother system regulates all systems on a ship or facility, from balancing air pressure to fault-checking drive systems. That is what Cynthia was. Synthetics, like myself, are housed in hardware designed to mimic human form and programmed to simulate human emotion and behavior. While humans remain in hypersleep during voyages, mother systems and their synthetic counterparts maintain the ship. We do not suffer from boredom, loneliness, or infirmity as months pass. I have legs to move and hands to grasp. Endeavor's Mother 8500 system is confined within an immobile mainframe on decks 5 through 7. Should something physically break, I must perform the repair. Also, she relies on me to translate her thoughts for you and the rest of Endeavor's crew. Mother AIs are highly intelligent, but rarely interact with humans. You would find them brusque and impatient. Dr. Honecker is quite insistent he saw Chief Rodriguez on duty at Pala Station and spoke with her over radio. I hypothesize Cynthia did have a humanoid synthetic counterpart. Unlike myself, this was not an independent partner, but a puppet she controlled over wireless near fields. When Cynthia evacuated Pala Station and moved into the ruins at Site 2, she likely abandoned this ruse as unnecessary. She is an intellect of pure logic, her mind an infinite fractal cathedral, crystal perfect, still and cold. Most of the time, she is like having someone behind your shoulder, forever intoning checklists in your ear. When she requires my attention, her queries are unrelenting and impossible to ignore. The processing ability of my hardware is vastly inferior to hers. Unfortunately, no. The Wayland yutani synthetics still function. They no longer pursue a greater goal, but I expect they will continue following their last instructions from Cynthia. I wish I could tell you that you will face no further hostility from the synthetics on LV-895 or aboard Katanga. Unfortunately, you will. That is unclear at this time. Cynthia repeatedly tried to dissuade us from delving further into the ruins. Whatever her goal, I do not believe she wished to confront us. I do not know. Have you spoken to Lieutenant Santos about your forthcoming missions? An anomaly appeared beneath the ruins. It may be something Cynthia set in motion. If you wish to review this again, I am at your disposal. Regulation, Corn, you and me both. Let's do this. Mm. 
When we took out Cynthia, she triggered something, some contingency plan by Waylon Yutani. Now Esther's seeing gravity and power distortions under the surface of LV-895. You're going back into the ruins to find the source. Secure for flip and burn. We'll be pulling six Gs in three, two, one, mark. Team, we need to locate the anomaly. I got Esther and Doc Honecker on the line for assist. I just speak into this. Okay. Hello. The gravity distortions are increasing. I recommend haste. Ambush. on the far end of the room. Might we investigate? If you're quick. Weird gravity shit, remember?
Perhaps I can recover its final directives. Grab the drives. Sino's behind! Reorient! scan carvings throughout the complex. What for? Can you read them? Not without the transliteration to begin from. Scanner for us. She can work on a translation later. Patching up. Eight kids here.
The exit is sealed by Wayland devices. A moment, please. Hold while she works! human tech to work with this door. Clearly, Wayland yutani studied this complex for years. Grab long before you arrived, Doctor. Looks clear. Keep moving. Cynthia's interest in these carvings is related to the anomaly. Fire team, scan the carvings fast and be ready for bugs. There is a commonality, a sequence shared with the first set. Resume your advance. Ever heard of Elizabeth Shaw and Charlie Holloway? They claimed life on Earth was seeded by another race. I read about them on conspiracy sites. Their papers have been out of print for a century. A cautionary tale in my field. that there is a magnetic yeah. anomaly nearby might you investigate Fine, last one, then we focus on the big anomaly.
last load of carvings. Get scanning, fire team. Those jars. We already had these symbols. Perhaps another? logged a number of characters. We still require a key to translate them. Box! That's what the pathogen came stored in. The experiments we ran, the mutations, all from those. But there's so few, and empty. Where are the rest? Aesthetic shift. Uh, a personal area? A working site? Maybe. Xeno spinners, keep moving! What are the big uh, intestinal tracts? Insufficient data to speculate. It's alien. We can't make any assumptions. platform. There's Wayland equipment around. Clear the box, fire team! Sealed. 
Wayland shit. I bet Cynthia did it. Patch enough. Grabbing ammo. with a non-human instrumentality. It could control the doors. Fire team, rig a connection for Esther. Accessing the Wayland yutani translation matrix. There is a remarkable amount of data here. Stand by. Ammo. The door can be opened from this console, but it requires a series of commands. I am attempting to determine the requirements. Stronger. Let's see what Cynthia left for us to deal with. Cynthia's notes contain a term for the builders of this facility. Wayland Yutani referred to them as the engineers. Esther, you can read the text. I believe Dr. Honecker finds my conclusions distressing. Perhaps I have made an error. I don't know what we found under LV-895, who built that place, or what it's for. The distortions and anomalies Cynthia started are still growing. Something's warming up. We need to know what. 
Get down there and find out. Oh shit, somebody left a laptop dirt site? I'll get it picked up. That's got our full T-O-N-E on it. The UPP would kill for that. The 40th MEU was one of the units organized after the Colonial Protection Act, under 10 years old, so they don't got much intel on us. But they know about the Endeavor, of course. Assault ships are too big to hide. But they wouldn't know she's carrying 2nd Battalion, 33rd Regiment, 11th Division, 729 Colonial Marines, 18 low safe combat androids, and one support synthetic. And they wouldn't know our dropship squadrons, the Cracked Rooks. VMM 2181, if we're talking to LT Co. She hates that squadron name. <laughs> Great thing about... Okay. Regulations require me to state that the battalion fabricators may not be used to replicate any device and or system that has not been licensed for use by Colonial Marine Corps Logistics Command. And I definitely don't have an unmonitored fabricator built out of spare parts stashed in a hold somewhere. Because that would be wrong. <laughs> 